Even though it's October, we're still seeing armyworms across Oklahoma, and, and Tom, you're getting reports of them out in the wheat fields. Yes. I uh, particularly I wrote a, a quick news article yesterday because, and put it, posted it up because um, a consultant from Wheeler Brothers had gone out to a field and looked at it and advised the producer to treat because he saw uh, that threshold had been reached and he was finding evidence of the, the feeding, the window painting and everything, just like we always talk about. He took a picture of that field, took it back to his office and started looking at the computer and he started circling all the caterpillars he didn't see when he was out in the field looking because they're so small and they're hiding so well and went from three to 15 because they're just so tiny. And the point is, if you're seeing evidence of injury and you're seeing, uh, you, you have a, even the threshold, you're probably not seeing everything that's out there. And I, right now, the questions I'm getting, should I treat, should I not treat? I think if you treat, we have fairly inexpensive products that can get good control of them. We have adequate moisture, we have uh, good foliage. And right now that's gonna give a producer options. Um, if they wanna grow for grain, if they wanna use for grazing grain, uh, grazing and grain, mm -hmm. or they just wanna graze out, it gives them more options than letting the fall armyworms have that crop and then having it try to recover between now and uh, when it, it goes into winter dormancy. So from my standpoint, uh, it just gives a producer options uh, that, uh, and who knows, you know, what prices are gonna do in the future. I guess you'd have to ask Kim Anderson that, but uh, um, at least gives them options. Now, we, we, we've had a couple of cool nights, but mm -hmm. the armyworms are still gonna be around until when? They are gonna be around until we get a killing frost. The nice thing is, is that we're getting closer to that time uh, in, in terms of getting rid of them, but also it slows them down. So we're probably not gonna see the heavy flights that we've typically been seeing up until now. They'll, they'll be slowing down and they grow a little slower and everything. So things should be calming down a little bit. But I do know that there's a lot of wheat that's just coming up out of the ground and it has to be protected. Mm -hmm. Talk, talk just briefly about some options whenever it does come to treating for those. Well, the, the first is obviously to get out and look at that field and catch them early. Uh, when you start seeing that window painting, take a good count. Um, the insecticides that are registered, there's a, a, a slew of them, really. They work pretty well. Uh, a lot of them are fairly inexpensive, but the key is is to catch them when the, the fall armyworms are small because they're a lot more susceptible to insecticide um, killing them than they are when they get bigger. Plus, they aren't going to take as much of the foliage out of the field, too. Okay, thank you much, Tom. And we'll put a link to that report on our website, sunup.okstate.edu.